If you ever find yourself trapped in this much grain, well, now Bozeman Fire's got you covered with the Great Wall of Rescue. And I was going to make a pun about grains, but that would be too corny of me. When we arrived, we sent a couple members in there and just confirmed the situation. And from there, it became clear that we weren't going to be able to just do a normal uh, raise operation. You may recall this incident back in March. A person trapped in a grain elevator outside of Manhattan. Bozeman Fire's tech rescue team, along with Amsterdam Royal Fire and Central Valley Fire District, responded to the call. Connor Haworth with Bozeman Fire was on scene that day. Every time you were trying to make sudden movements or move a lot of grain, all of a sudden the grain that was above us on the slope would just kind of fall back, encircle the patient, bury them a little bit more. Connor tells me grain acts like quicksand and is a tricky substance to be rescued from. Rescue teams usually need special tools in these situations. We got on scene and realized we didn't have everything with us that we needed to save this, this patient that was trapped inside. Josh Charles, a captain at Bozeman Fire, tells me their tech rescue team, along with local ranchers and other helping hands, were able to makeshift a grain great wall of rescue, a device that we can shove it down into the grain and it stops the grain from continuing to entrap the victim that may be in the silo. You can see the makeshift great wall of rescue in action in this video posted on Bozeman Fire's Facebook page. But this post resulted in more than just a couple likes. The Scholar Corporation who runs the grain elevators in Logan called us and said, hey, do you guys have what you need on that last call to uh, safely do a rescue and we told him we didn't. Scholar is a global grain transport company that donated $5,000 to Bozeman Fire to be used towards purchasing an official Great Wall of Rescue system. The March rescue took around six hours to extract the person from the grain silo. Captain Charles tells me with this new system, it's going to go from us showing up on scene and having to do a makeshift rescue wall to be able to deploy some equipment that's going to give us minutes and we'll have a safety zone around the patient in there and also a safety zone for our workers. In Bozeman, Cassidy Powers, MTN News.